Sci-Fi VPG Nation. It's time for another episode of Dr. Robert's Readerhood. Won't you be, won't you please, please won't you be a reader? I'd like to give a shout out today to all the athletes out there, all the athletes and the coaches who have worked so hard um, in their sport and who this year have had to give up their season and sacrifice their season for the social good. I've always liked sports and I've always liked reading books or magazines about sports. And so today for Dr. Robert's Readerhood, we're gonna read a book from a long ago, 1979. Can you believe it? Before I became a runner, I was really, really interested in basketball. In fact, I was going to grow up and play for the Boston Celtics. That was the original plan. And so I would find books about basketball or other sports that I was interested in. And I just happened to come across this on my shelf. Uh, I picked this up in the early 1980s. You can still find it, believe it or not, online. Probably not for a dollar sixty-nine. I think it's about six to ten dollars on some of the online bookstores. It's by Thomas Digard. It's called Outside Shooter, and it's about a high schooler uh, who's a fabulous athlete, but is troubled and has some uh, emotional and behavioral uh, problems. And there's a new coach in town, and it's about uh, just this season coming up in basketball. So. Let's just take a read. Sam Kaplan leaned against the rear fender of Deke's car. Now Deke is the new basketball coach. He ran a hand through his thinning hair, folded his arms over his chest, and he became the first person to tell Deke about Bobby Haggard. You guessed it, he's the outside shooter. The slender little redhead, a 10th grader last year, was a dead-eye shooter from the outside, capable of pouring in 20 points or more on a good night, and this was before the three-point line was invented. He was a master dribbler, sure-handed, quick, and clever. On defense, he was a ball-hawking guard with a talent for theft and interceptions. Sam said, I haven't missed a Bulldog home game in 14 years. And believe me, Bobby Haggard is the best we've ever had. But Bobby Haggard had not finished the season with the Bloom Dog Bulldogs last year, the Bloomfield Bulldogs last year. That was when everything really fell apart, when Bobby quit the team or got thrown off or whatever happened, Sam said. Even before that, though, things weren't good. There were stories. Sounds bad, Deke says. What kind of boy is Bobby Haggard? Deke asked. Sam smiled. You hear all kinds of stories, he said. Runs with the wrong crowd, I think. You know the sort. Out all night, a little drinking, a little pot smoking maybe. I've heard some of the teachers complaining about his behavior in class. He does crazy things to get attention, gets himself in trouble, got himself suspended once for something or other. Some of the teachers live here in the apartments, you know, like you do because they're close to the school. I hear them talking. Deke said, Bobby Haggard's got a general reputation as a troublemaker then, and it carried over into troublemaking on the team. I guess that's about it, but we sure need him on the team. Arnie Hamilton met up with Deke a little bit later. First of all, He's the best basketball player I've seen in these parts for more than 20 years. But Bobby Haggard is a troubled boy. Bobby Haggard is convinced that nobody likes him. As a result, of course, nobody does. Oh, he's got friends, you know, but they're a bunch with the same problems he has. They're convinced that everybody is looking down on them. I'm not a psychologist, although every coach ought to be one. But I think that Bobby Haggard has got what they call a self-worth problem. He holds himself in low esteem. So naturally, he assumes everyone else does too. He thrashes out to prove it so. 
and to prove it's not so or doesn't matter. Deek said, basketball seems to be the perfect answer for him. Why in the world? Arnie interrupted. Should be. I agree with you. One of the great benefits of high school sports is the chance for a kid to prove himself or herself outstanding, or at least adequate, and to, be be to belong to the group, be a part of the team, somebody important. But it hasn't worked out that way with Bobby Haggard. No, it hasn't. Being able to score 20 points or more in front of a cheering crowd should do the job. How can he feel inferior when everybody is shouting his name? How can he fail to belong in a group that needs his 20 points? By refusing to allow himself to belong. That's how. Well, to find out what happens in the outside shooter, pick it up, check it out. See if it's in the library or if you can get it online. Or if you're not into basketball, if you're into a different sport or a different activity, check it out. Read. Remember, reading makes you smart. Stay health out there, healthy out there, VPG Nation. Keep safe. I'll touch base with you again with you soon with another Dr. Roberts Readerhood. Take care, everybody.